Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use any version of Visual Building to create furniture. In this example we're going to create a shelf unit. First we'll create a new project. Zoom in so we can show all. And we're going to use some components in our catalog. These are located in the uh, object catalog in the miscellaneous folder and we've got some basic forms. Now these are some basic shapes from which you can create other shapes. I'm going to drag the cube into the project because I'm going to use that as my basic element. Uh, first I'm going to remove the origin and the compass by right clicking and removing them from the visible category dialog. And going to the projects tab I'm now going to remove the environment block. Let's now look at a 3D view, also without the environment block. Using the zoom and the windows tool in the view tab, I've now created a 2D view and a 3D view of my cube. Now double click on the cube in either the 2D or the 3D view to activate the cubes properties panel and here we can see the cube's dimensions. Select Scale Distorted because we want to change one dimension at a time. Changing the one meter depth to one centimeter now gives us a one by one meter sheet of wood. We're now going to duplicate this sheet. So select the object and right click on it and from the context menu select multiple copy. The multiple copy dialog is a lot easier than first appears. It's best understood by playing around with the direction and plane buttons and seeing where your copy appears. In my settings I've selected one copy to appear at the top in the XY plane. In the 2D view I'm now going to drag the panel into a new position and then using the rotation tools rotate the panel by 90 degrees. This new panel will be the side panel and I want to change the width so double clicking on the panel I can change the width to 0.3 of a meter. And using the move with reference point I can place this new panel exactly where I want it. Again using the multiple copy I can duplicate this panel also. So the process of building this shelf unit is a matter of copy, rotate, move, rotate, copy. I'm now going to apply a texture to the object. 
It would of course have been easier to apply the texture to the original cube and then the texture would have been copied as I copied the uh, objects. That means now I have to copy the texture from the catalog to each of the objects individually. So there's our textured shelf unit. I now only have to export the object in a format suitable for loading into the catalogue so I can use it in any project. Using this process you can build many different uh, pieces of furniture and construction elements for your, your building. As I've not used any of the advanced editing tools for the 3D functions, you can do this in any version of visual building.